rowing is an outdoor sport, which means conditions change and vary all the time. Unless the lake's frozen or it's a hurricane force winds, then we're pretty much going to go out and row in it. There definitely is a love-hate relationship. For all the wins I've had, there have been so many more losses. Rowing has been more a story of setbacks. Josh was diagnosed with chronic rectal asthma when he was only two. Which could leave me in hospital for a few days at a time. He was always a very serious child. Yeah, a very sensitive child as well. I grew up in Cheadle Heath in Stockport. I had a lot of issues at school. I was the chubby kid and always followed the rules to the T. People didn't like that very much. Being bullied at school, it did affect my drive. Always be telling him to walk straight, to walk tall, because round here, put your shoulders down, you can be a target. I don't think there was a great amount of expectation on kids growing up in Cheadle Heath. No one had ever spoken to me about rowing. No one I knew ever did it. The thing that I loved most about it was that I could just push myself to my limits. I wanted to be different from what I had been. I justify the pain as being worth whatever event it is that I'm competing at. Eyes wide open, very consciously in that moment. And just embracing the pain that's coming and just working through it. It's horrible and a lot of the time you just want to lie on the floor and not move. But the, the sense of pride and elation that comes in that moment, uh, in that split second, is incredible. Back when I was an eight-year-old kid, I was just hoping to get through the school day, whereas 28-year-old me is hoping to go to the Olympics. It's not something I would have thought of myself doing back then.